it's raw, it's explicit, it's funny, it's heartbreaking, it's it's perfect. I'm doing great. <laughs> hey guys, I am the Amanda Rogers and welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about Chainsaw Man. My friends have been talking about this manga for months and the anime is coming out soon too so I finally gave it a try. Not usually one for gore and lots of blood and guts and stuff like that but holy shit maybe I am. I'm honestly a little terrified to see how this gets animated because it's so good and it's gonna be so scary and I don't handle scary stuff well. I think reading it is different but oh my god it's gonna be so good so so good the manga is amazing please read it i read all of part one now part two has recently started and that's the newest chapters that have come out i have not read those so from here on out there's going to be spoilers so if you haven't read part one of chainsaw man stop go read it and then come back it all started at Otakon. I saw the first volume at the Kino Kunu Kini Kin. This place? I mess up the name every time. It all started there. I saw the first volume and I said, you know what? Let's give it a shot. I read the entire first volume in less than 45 minutes and that included me getting up and checking my bag at the airport while I was waiting for my flight. So then I opened up the Shonen Jump app and started binge reading. Now, if I didn't have a bunch of other projects going on and work every day, I probably would have finished it in one day. But it did, ended up taking me about two weeks, probably. I was texting my friend and tweeting and screenshotting. So here's kind of going to be my recap of part one. Let's get into it. Benji was just hungry. That's how it all started. He was just fucking hungry. Like, <laughs> he was starving. The testicle devil attacked his balls. Him and Aki immediately fighting. <laughs> I love them so much. Oh my god. I love Power. She's chaos. Power is so chaotic and dumb but smart and just... I love her so much. I already know that I'm going to cosplay Power. I love her so much. Denji and Power are Yuji and Nobara in a slightly different font. Power and Denji just mean the world to me. I love them so much. The comedic timing in this manga is phenomenal. This panel solidified it for me. Now I feel like there's so many layers to this panel where there's like foreshadowing, there's comedic timing, there's, you know so much meaning behind it now but maybe that's just me reading into it too much it just it means so much to me makima 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 you go through so many emotions <laughs> i knew she was bad news she's manipulative she's awful she's smart she's also sexy <laughs> I do think it can be very sexy when people who are sexy and know they're sexy use the fact that they're sexy to manipulate people. And Makima is a perfect example of that. Is it morally right? No. But we're dealing with devils and fiends and hunters here. I think one of the fun things about Chainsaw Man is that the reader is like the only one with morals. <laughs> I think it's funny. <laughs> Denji, after he felt boobs, like, he's just dead inside because they're just boobs. <laughs> and now they're not just boobs because it means more. Thanks, Makima, but, like, manipulative bitch. When he ate her barf. So funny. So gross. So <laughs> traumatizing. When the chainsaws popped out of his legs, too. Oh my goodness. That was so fucking badass, dude. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, it's so fucking badass, dude. It's so badass. He looks so cool. The way that he evolves every time 
is so fucking cool. Like, yeah. Chapter 23's artwork changed something inside of me. It's so fucking gorgeous. And how do you make something that fucking cool? Like, how, what? it's just so sick. Like, I can't even, I just don't. Ah, it's so fucking cool. That would be a sick on your shin to go down underneath your kneecap. Let me book a tattoo appointment. Denji and Power. Just being the brain dead twins. They just like me for real. <laughs> you get along with Power, don't you? We got into a fist fight this morning. <laughs> so yes. <laughs> angel is an angel and I just... He's so precious to me. <laughs> He's so tired and he's just like, Ugh, I don't want to do this. He gives me like Shikamaru vibes, but like in a gentler tone, if that makes sense. Reese is also one that I want to cosplay because that was sick as shit. I think it was the Bomb Devil was their official title. Just so good. I, I want to be that at some point in time. Like I had bad vibes about Reese from the get-go, but... Denji is so good, and then Makima ruined it. She was coming back for Denji, and that just breaks my heart, but it's okay. It's supposed to. Denji is so stupid. I love him so much. Chainsaw Man riding the shark. It was perfect. Like, how do you- who- they're so stupid and so funny and so brilliant and so badass. I just, I can't get enough. <laughs> Aki and Angel mean so much to me. I'm so invested in the ship. I know the ship has gone down. Like, there were so many hints to how powerful Makima was and how many people wanted her dead and also, like that she was not good, but you didn't understand why. But I think this was one of the times when it was so clear that Makima is bad. And like, it was confusing on whether Makima was a bad good guy or was a good bad guy. But then that makes you question everyone else's intentions too. I mean, it's supposed to, because like, why would he team up with Kanji? I don't know how to say her name out loud, to be honest. I just read it, which she was so sexy and badass too. Um, and her entire troop was, but also was like, you know, this panel. <laughs> Here's your pussy cat. <laughs> I will never get over a big man handling a small animal. Like, I think it's just one of the funniest things. And he's just like handing over the pussy cat. Makima is a bitch. Of course she's the control devil. Like, it makes so much fucking sense. She's still sexy, though. But, like, I hate her. This shit was so fucking cool. Like, the gun devil's full fucking form. Holy shit. It's so badass. It's, you know... I could stare at that all day. Like, I want that imprinted on the inside of my eyeballs. Like, it's so fucking cool, dude. <sighs> what she did to Aki is unforgivable and so upsetting. And she doesn't care. And that's the most frustrating part. Open the door and it was Aki and it was just... Emotional damage, okay? Emotional damage. Emotional damage. So much emotional damage. Aki just wanted to protect them and then she... How dare she? How dare she? The fact that he was like having fun and didn't know the destruction that he was causing hurt so much. It... It hurts so good. He was playing and having fun for the first time in forever. But in reality, he was hurting everyone that he loves and wanted to protect. And 
Oh, it's so upsetting. I'm doing great. <laughs> it was so mean of Fujimoto to do that to me, but also so smart. I hate Makima so much. It's so frustrating that Denji wasn't listening when he, like, Bochita or, like, his conscious or whatever was trying to protect him and he kept opening the fucking doors. Empower the cake and just... It hurt. It hurt. Makima sucks so much. I think I get Denji. Because it's like, he just, he wants it to be easy. He's like, life shouldn't be this fucking hard. I just want someone else to make the decisions for me. And I've totally been there, so I understand it. But then you see the repercussions of, you know, handing your control over to someone else. Like, he looks so badass being in this big form, but you know what somewhere inside is still dingy. And you know this isn't what he wants. Again, it's frustrating, but so good because it is frustrating. But once again, the comedic timing, Denji's full Chainsaw Man form was so fucking funny to me. Like, he's just this big, burly, scary motherfucker. And he just sits at the table. <laughs> he's terrifying. He's just killing people, like, because he's just, like, shut off, basically. And then Kobeni... Poor baby. <laughs> this poor baby, Kobeni. If nothing else, I at least also have my comedic timing intact. So, <laughs> Fujimoto, what's up? I've already used this as a meme format. Um, I think it's so fucking funny. Poor Kobeni. <laughs> he made her dance and then left her there. <laughs> and then you turn around and he's just sitting there. He's like a little puppy. He's not happy and he knows that because he's Denji, but he's also this big fucking chainsaw devil. And it's like, ah, uh, like you could tell, obviously, because he was like wanting to go out with a girl and wanting a fucking hamburger. And, you know, this was the moment where you're like, he's still Denji. He just wants a happy life. He just wants simple things. But... Him wanting such simple things backfired on him because it was easy to manipulate him. Makima is so confusing. The whole story conf is confusing. Makima confuses me so much because it's like, what was the end game? It, like, we, it felt like we were just going in circles. Like, it was, it just felt like we didn't, we never know what the end game is. And I know it's supposed to be like that and it's supposed intentionally frustrating which makes it amazing in the story because it's supposed to be like that but it's it's frustrating because you never know what the end game is like you never know what the fuck makima is trying to do like what is the fucking end game we don't know we're not supposed to but it's so frustrating but it's supposed to be so it makes it good it made me so happy that pochita saved power but she's still power. <laughs> like, she's supposed to save Denji, and she's working so hard, and then immediately just goes, here you go. Pochita and I both did the same thing, like, you've got to be kidding me. <laughs> but what do you expect from power? They love me. They really fucking love me. Like, <laughs> oh, like, I know it's not good for the devil side, but it's so cute that Denji's like, they love me. Like, you know, he's just like me for real. Like, <laughs> Denji is Denji no matter fucking what. Okay. And I love him so much. He still wants the simple things. He wants to be comfortable. He wants to have sex. He wants to have fun. He's Denji, you know, and that drives him. So, hey, Pochita has my whole fucking heart. I think Pochita is supposed to be the full chainsaw devil. Like, that's his form for being in the human world as this chainsaw dog. And it's crazy to think that, like, the chainsaw devil is this massively powered, incredibly depth, history, just drenched in 
so much backstory in this tiny dog. He just wanted someone to hug him. And Denji did that for him. And that makes me soft. This scene was gorgeous. It was well established that Makima was a bad person at this point. Okay. So I... I was just, you know, appreciating her as a bad person. Like, she's the bad character. That's what she's supposed to be. And I was like, she's doing it marvelous, marvelously. Okay. I didn't start to hate Makima. Like, I, I hated Makima. But I didn't start to really hate Makima until she put her paws on Pochita. And that was one step too fucking far. I wanted to fight. It was so satisfying that Denji played his part so well. Like, he outsmarted her in the end, and it was just perfect. He ate her. She told him exactly what he needed to do, so he ate her to erase her and, you know, whatever. But... The control devil lives on. I'm interested to see where this story goes from here. I don't know really anything about part two so far, but I know for a fact that part one was perfect. Aki and Power hurt me the most, um, as they should. It, they were supposed to, and so it was incredibly well written. <laughs> the whole story is just so confusing and mystical and scary and so good, and it's just... Ah, uh, it's just, it keeps you on your toes. It makes you want more. You think you're getting close to an explanation and then it just, doop. No. I love that. <laughs> it's frustrating and so good. <laughs> it was just overall an incredibly gorgeous story. Like there's so many twists and turns and there's so much depth and so much action and so much comedy. It's raw. It's explicit. It's funny. It's heartbreaking. It's, it's perfect. <laughs> like it really fucking is. So in conclusion, I love Chainsaw Man. I highly recommend it. I'm so looking forward to the anime and also part two. I know you're going to hurt and I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below on what other manga I should read or if you have an anime recommendation. I'm always looking to add to my watch list. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!